Well, you guys got another video on how to manage drivers in Windows. If you're running a Windows operating system, every piece of hardware on that system is going to need a driver to function properly. These are our device drivers. We've got our audio drivers. We've got our motherboard drivers, GPU drivers, you name it. There's a driver for everything and it can become quite complicated for a lot of people. But I'm going to show you exactly how you can manage your drivers on your system. So these are our device drivers on this computer here. And I'll show you how to manage all of your drivers on your computer the correct way and also what to avoid when you're installing drivers on your system. But just let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. CD Key Sales has a website where you can purchase all of your license keys for Windows and Office Suite and also for games. So if you want to check those out, check the links in the video description. We'll talk more about CD key sales a little bit later on in the video. So first up, let's talk about the Driver Store Explorer. It's an application that you can use, which is completely portable. It doesn't install on your system, and this will allow you to manage all of your device drivers on that computer. It allow you to delete old and unused drivers on your computer. It's gonna allow you to create driver lists, and also export all of the device drivers that are used on that PC. So you can import them a little bit later on if you ever format your PC. So go to the latest version here and click on the download link. And this will allow you to download the application, which allows you to view all of the device drivers on that PC. Now this software is completely free. It's open source and it really is a useful little application which will display all of the device drivers on the PC. So it's going to scan your computer here and here they are all on your computer. Now, when you install Windows, Windows will do its best to put drivers onto your system, but these are not always the best drivers to use. And I'll show you how to deal with that a little bit later on in a video. But let's first detect some of these old drivers that are left sitting dormant on our system, which are not in use anymore. And this is because when drivers get updated, sometimes they don't uninstall the old driver. They just leave it in its own container, in its own folder, and they use another one, another folder with the new driver on it and make that the uh, active driver for that system. So if you want to detect these, you can use the select uh, old drivers here and it will scan your system. You can highlight these and then you can basically delete them from your system, you'll get this little box popping up saying warning, but you can see the amount of storage space that that's taking. And this will clean this up and remove these from your computer. Now, the good thing about this application is it's giving you access to all of the device drivers on your computer and showing those in a GUI interface, which allows you to manage those drivers a lot more easier. So let's refresh this and let it scan again. And what you can do here is go up to file, and you can basically export all of the drivers on this system. And you can even export a driver list as well. So let's go ahead and create a folder called driver uh, backup. And we can now back up all of our drivers to this location. So if you wanted to do a fresh install and import these drivers, you could do. And I'll show you that as well. So let's go ahead and select that folder and export all of these driver packs to that folder right here. So especially if you've got old hardware or the computer's pretty old, trying to find drivers for old systems is getting more difficult nowadays. So backing up your drivers is quite important, especially on older systems. So let's go ahead and now export the driver list as well. So we have a list of all our drivers on our system. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right here. And we can now click on save and it's now saved that list. So let's go ahead and take a look at that folder and we can see what it's done here. So from here, we can also import an add driver. So let's go ahead and click on add driver here. And you can see I can now select any of these drivers that have been backed up and add them to my system. I can also put the check mark in install driver and then click add driver and click on this and it will install it like so. Now, if you're using old computers, a lot of sites you know, stop supporting uh, drivers and they even remove the download link for these drivers for that particular hardware if it's very old. So backing up these drivers is essential to make sure you have a backup of these. It also supports different languages and you also have an help page here as well. 
Next up, we're going to be talking about driver packs, so stay tuned for that. But first, let's have a quick word from today's sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 11 Pro and cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM keys, then check out the links in the video description. You can use my promo code capital B capital R 9 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all of your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you submit your order, you can use PayPal to pay for your purchases. They would then send you your key and you can activate your version of Windows just like you see on the screen right here. Super easy to do. Anyway, let's get back to the tutorial and download driver packs. Snappy Drivers has been around for a very long time. If you have a really old system, manufacturers sometimes remove the download for those drivers on their websites. They don't always offer download links for those drivers. So you can download something like Snappy Driver from Glendelahoy, and this is the one you need to use, which is from Glendelahoy. Once you extract this to a folder, you can open this up. It doesn't install anything. It runs as a portable app. It will then run a scan on your system and tell you what drivers need to be updated or installed. There's this one right here, which is X64. This is for 64-bit operating systems. I'm going to click on this one. You will see Windows protected your PC. This is normal. You can click Run anyway, and this will then open up the application. Once you get the UAC, just say Yes. And you should see something looking like Snappy Driver Installer Origin. And once you click on this, you're looking for the download indexes only. This is the one you want to download uh, the indexes for. You don't want to be downloading the driver packs as such because that's quite a large download. You can put it in expert mode right here and you can check mark anything that you want here that you're looking for, whether it be unknown drivers or whether it be the worst match, better match, older, current, and so on. You can select whatever you like here. The system will then be scanned and it will tell you the drivers that you can install and update. I'm running on a virtual machine here for this recording, so there's not going to be no drivers listed here. But if you're running on a normal system, you're going to see a heap of drivers that need to be updated or installed. And you can click on the system restore point just for safety, and then you can click on install there's a little section right down here that says install drivers you click on this and it will install it so i'm going to go ahead and just install this one driver right here just to show you and it will download and install that now i don't generally use these on brand new computers that are modern day computers i do a different method for installing drivers for those systems but for really old computers or older hardware i generally use snappy driver Installer Origin from Glendelahoy because it does find a lot of these drivers and install them. And it's a really useful way of getting old hardware drivers that are obviously hard to find now. And this is a really useful way of getting those drivers. Now, you don't want to be searching the internet for things like best driver software because this is where people make mistakes and start downloading snake oil software to download and update uh, drivers for their computer. There's a heap of them out there. They're heavily promoted on websites with affiliate links to them, and they are snake oil. They are not going to help you. They generally are not free, and you will have to pay, and you can do all of this for free. You don't need to pay for driver software. Sites like these you want to steer clear of because you're going to end up either getting infected or you're going to end up uh, breaking your system. They are not useful sites, and people promote them to make money. So let's do a search on our computer for system information and we can open up the system information program that's built into Windows and you can look for the board manufacturer's make and model number under system summary. Right here, this is it here. What you want to do is search on the internet for that board make and number and this will give you the website where you can download all of the drivers. This is the method I tend to use for a lot of modern day computers. Now, this method won't really work for older systems because these become obsolete and they don't always uh, give you the download links for drivers. And sometimes these can be outdated. So go to the drivers and tool section under the support page here and choose your operating system. And this will allow you to download all of the LAN drivers, the chipset drivers, audio drivers, VGA drivers, software and utilities and SATA drivers and all the other drivers that you will need for that particular system. 
So that is your motherboard drivers taken care of. This will be all your device drivers for your motherboard, but you'll still need to download Nvidia drivers for your graphics card or AMD graphics card drivers or Intel or whatever make of graphics card that you're using and driver support. You will need to download that from the manufacturer's website. And there'll be other drivers that you're going to be needed to install as well for other hardware that is plugged into your computer that doesn't come downloading from this website here. So you can always get those from the manufacturer's website and that's what I'd advise you to do rather than using tools to do your uh, downloading for drivers because this is where people make mistakes and they can end up causing themselves problems. So hopefully this guide will help you manage your Windows drivers a lot better and also this will help you back up your drivers if you need to back them up and where to find old drivers if you have old hardware. So if you're finding it hard to find drivers that you're looking for, either go to the manufacturer's website first and if it's an old system, use Snappy Driver uh, Installer by Glenn Delahoy and you can also use Driver Store Explorer to export all of your drivers once you have them installed on that system. Anyway, that is going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I hope everyone's going to be watching England play on Sunday and hopefully it's coming home. Anyway, with that said, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.